All right, guys, I just wanted to show you really quickly um, just how easy it is to install the software for TNC. Now, Megatooth Sys Savers has the best tutorial. It is literally walking you through how to make folders on your computer. But for the guys that know how to use a computer, I figured I'd just show you really quickly really how easy this is. So, of course, this is just my work saver. Um, it's got no chassis or anything in it. Uh, so I've just, you know, made it really quick so I can take it in and out, install whatever I want. So here's the TNC. It's in, in my heat shrink right now. And, of course, there's the USB port and then there's the SD card right there. Um, okay, I'm going to show you exactly how easy this is to program. I will be right back. All right, so I apologize. I don't have any capture gear on my computer right now, so I'm just kind of doing the old point at the screen and hope for the best kind of thing. Um, how, where do we start? First things first, this couldn't be any easier. You come here, TNC Saber OS. I'll put all the links down below. It's just at Frederick's page. And you go, I'm gonna download this, I'm gonna download this, I'm gonna download this, and I'm gonna download this. And that's it. All that ends up happening is on your, on your uh, download, wherever you're downloading to, you're gonna see this one. You're going to see this one, you're going to see two little zip files that you just extract, okay? Now, I'm not going to go over installing these files. If, if you can't install a file on your computer, then this probably isn't for you. So, first of all, you install the Arduino software. 1.8.5 works. Any new version that's on the page will work fine. Done. Put it in whatever directory you want on your computer. You then install this TNC Duo file, which is, goes in the exact same directory as, as the Arduino file. Okay, done. There you go. You now have the software installed on your computer. All right. Now, what you're going to do next is you're going to unzip this lightsaber folder. Okay. You're going to get a new folder that appears on your desktop. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to extract it here because it's just an extraction file. It just appears on your desktop, and it actually, it literally says lightsaber. So we're going to go into the directory that I installed Arduino, which is in here, and this file is this right here okay little folder no problem that's that's it you just copy the lightsaber folder into your standard Arduino folder and then you have it in there it's got everything already done for you there's nothing else you have to do which is really convenient okay and that's it close that you then come to the fourth file which is an extraction file and this is all the sound fonts already done for you. Boom, 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 boom. You literally copy this and you paste this over to your SD card. That's it. You just, this is the only thing that you're copying to the SD card. It's already in set folders, it's already in set programs, and you're good to go, okay? So I'm not gonna take out my SD card and then copy these over because I'm sure you can take an SD card out. Go copy, paste, onto the SD card, that's it, you're done, okay? After you're done that, which will take you a total of maybe four minutes, um, unless your computer is incredibly slow, next we come to, how do I make this damn thing work? Now I think this is the part that scares a lot of people because it looks intimidating. I mean, look at this page. It's like, oh my god, what do I do here? What do I do? There's just too much. You simply come down to the configurator, okay? In my case, I'm doing a NeoPixel build. I select NeoPixel. Um, in my OB, I only have one um, control button. I'm going to put a second one in eventually, but I don't have it right now. So I go, none. Shows you the diagram of everything for the setup. Pretty, pretty easy. Now, this is where people get a little scared. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, this is all you're doing. This has now been pre-configured for my Sabre, okay? So I'm, I'm going to copy all this fun stuff here. Everything. Copy. I come down to my little bar here, and I type in... Notepad. Notepad opens up. I then paste this fun stuff. Okay, this this is your configuration. This is everything done for you. Um, you can close uh, this page, of course, and I'm going to save this file. File save as we'll call it. Uh, call it anything. Um, gem config new. Okay, simple as that. It can be anything you want. Um, I don't know if the, the little whatever this is is required, but I don't think so. Save it to your old desktop there. Okay, that file appears all of a sudden. There it is. Now, right now, it's a TXT file. So you just take this off and you say H. If your computer freaks out, you just go, yeah, it's fine. 
Okay, now it's a config file with everything preset. As long as you've directly copied um, the SD card information over, this references all of that. All right, so what's next? Take this little file, gem config, cut that, throw it right into your little Arduino folder, right in the lightsaber config, paste. Gem config new, bam. I got the rest of my configs in here. There's some default ones, but you're gonna wanna use the one that you made. Um, it's all there for you. It's finished, you're done, okay? The last thing you need to do is simply um, open up uh, your lightsaber. Okay, what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna go um, of course, uh, back into your little Arduino folder there, and you're going to find the little lightsaber icon, okay? Um, I've just made a, de a desktop shortcut for myself just because it's easier to get to it, but this, this and this are the same thing. Open up your lightsaber config. You get all this crazy, scary stuff. Oh boy, oh god, what am I doing? Pfft, nothing. You're only dealing with one section. Don't get caught up in the rest of the stuff in here. It, none of it matters. It's just this one line. So our config file. Oh shoot, what is it again? Let's go in and see what it is. That config file for light for lightsaber was called oh gem config new dot h. So you just take this and you put it right in place of this one. That's it. That's it. You're done. Um, now I'm going to skip forward a little bit because I'm going to plug this saber in and uh, we're going to copy the file over and we're going to be finished. It's really that easy guys. Okay, we're done. That is all of the programming. Believe it or not. It's hard to believe, but that's it. Okay. The only other thing that you have to do is you come up to tools here. Okay. You have to select your board. Just make sure that it knows what it is, which is TNC 3.1. Okay. You can set your, your, your serial connection to serial. You don't have to configure anything. Um, I recommend serial only. The experimental, which lets you read the SD card, is a pain. Doesn't work well. Don't even worry about it. So you've got this by default to serial, okay? And that is literally it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, how to copy the file over. Just give me one sec, be right back. All right, so all I've done is I have literally just plugged, of course, the Sabre. I don't know if you can see this on the camera or not. Um, into the Teensy board and what's the big complicated step next you press go That's it You're gonna see a compiler down here now depending on the speed of your computer um, It might be quick like this was might be a little bit slower it Sends the information to the saver That's it You're done. You're done son Just take this out And you are off and running That's it. It's honest to God that easy.